up guys this is your daily update for your divine feminine before i continue this reading i just want to make a note this is for the collective who have become one with their feminine energy and their masculine energy or working to become to master their master masculine energy as well we can, can know if you're a part of that collective we can no longer identify as only masculine or only feminine at this point, we're both. So if you're watching the masculine reading, it should resonate. If you're watching the feminine reading, it should also resonate because you have embody, you embody both energies and you're close or have already aligned to the point where you're both, you're one with God and you're both energies. So there is no longer divine masculine and divine feminine. It's divine masculine and feminine all together one. You can just use the prayer position one and God in the midst of it so when you read this is you and God and your masculine energy and, and I'm not even referring to it externally right now I'm referring to it internally with your reading if you're a part of the collective who's still looking at um, your external part, divine partner and you're not thinking about your innate masculine and feminine energies this is also not for you because you haven't evolved to the level of self-mastery this is for people who are self-mastering their masculine and feminine energies and will soon come into union because of that because self-mastery comes before union with your divine partner because god the divine the universe is not gonna put you with your divine partner in a place of codependency. Because if you try to come into your union with your divine partner without mastering yourself first, that creates the that creates the energy that creates the sorry. I don't know why my nose itching. That creates the opportunity for codependency instead and you start focusing on relationship instead of focusing on yourself and self-mastery. The divine is high vibration and those People, places, and things of high vibration won't put you in a place to be codependent on someone. Actually, they put you in a place for self-mastery, become one with God, and together, when you're both one with God, you come together. Okay, so the overall energy of this reading, we have 444 in this reading, which is about release from bondage, which is about, um, it's closely related to the children of Israel being in bondage, but becoming one with God and, and embodying the love of God and liberation and things of that sort. But it's also, uh, we have the fool on the bottom of the deck. Three of fire right under it. The fool. The cloak of Christ. Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And enlightenment. Renewal right under that. This is a, and loving yourself right under this as well. Okay, so what is it saying? This is about faith. This is about embodying the energy of God and being a representative of God on earth. The cloak of Christ is saying you're in God's consciousness. You are in that you have the nature of God. You are a representative of God on earth. And with the rainbow, be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. You're a representative of that. You're here to bring lights and life into other people's lives and to be an example of God on earth. And enlightenment comes first, knowing yourself and knowing God and becoming one with that energy, with your feminine energy. And again, the full card is just a reminder of faith. And let me just read this part of the um, Cloak of Christ card. Oh, man. There's grace right into this card. It says, in the school of humanity, when you become intimate with God, you reside on the king's throne and teach the angels the nature of the divine. That is what it's all about. It is about the love of God, embodying the love of God, being an example of God's love, and shedding that, sharing that light and love to others, being a rainbow in other people's cloud, and enlightenment, enlightening yourself, enlightening others, raising a consciousness of others in the world. Um, in the world. This is so dope because the first card combination we have. The Angel Rise Bar and the Knight of Earth. The Knight of Pentacles, the Angel Rise Bar. This combination is about 
your work here on earth. It's about what you were created for. And I'll read it. It says, divine contribution is offered to those who wish to contribute to the world. The great beloved sees what is in your heart and what you wish to offer and is saying yes. You are being empowered to serve, to assist, to offer a genuine, genuine spiritual contribution to this planet. We just talked about this. I just talked about that. To become a sacred hand at work for the will of heaven. This is offered and bestowed upon the soul that is wise and filled with love and therefore deserving to serve. Do not doubt yourself. You have been blessed with this by the master to find the jewel of your own soul and claim it. Cast aside any doubts. So this is just saying you're here as a light worker. You're here as a representative of God on earth to lift the consciousness, to raise the consciousness of the world and others. You have a purpose, a divine purpose, a high divine purpose to make a worthy and divine contribution to the world. And it's related to your work. Whatever your passion is, what your, what your job, your passion, and it's not something that is limiting is liberating so it's about your craft your purpose your gift using it to raise and lift the consciousness of others this is for our masculine and feminine remember you should not be identifying as either or at this point you're a divine person you're a divine human you're a six god you're a representative of god on earth and you embody both your masculine and feminine energies because you're young you're as one and with god then it says, take a leap of faith into the unknown. And the two fours are here. And the other four is the cloak of Christ, which is 444 energy. It's just stability. It's um, really fun. It's my son in the background. It's stability. It's um, protection. But it's liberation. Look at her. She's free. She's free. It's about liberating yourself and others. And... Holding on to your vision and becoming one with yourself and God. The four of fire and excuse these cards. I use my um my mana deck, my my exotic deck. But this is about becoming one with yourself and teaching others to become one with themselves. But this is saying hold on to your vision. You can do it. You're one with yourself and God, and you can do anything. Take that leap of faith, knowing that it's all gonna work out in your favor. Take that leap of faith, knowing that it's gonna provide stability into your life and the life of others. And you can do it because you should have no doubt in your mind. You're one with yourself and God. You're the creator at that point. And you can create whatever it is you need to create because the angels are with you, the divine is with you because you are here as a light worker. You are here to raise the consciousness of others. You are here as a representative of God. So why wouldn't God and divine guides and spirits work with you? Then you have the gossip card, which is about things aren't what they seem and people saying things about you or or not understanding you. But the whole time you were great, the whole time you were, um, you are great and you are um, a person that should be honored and revered. But this is also saying don't worry about what other people think. Put yourself first and your divine partner first. Let's start with yourself. You cannot worry about what other people are doing or what they're going to say or feel about your life. It's your life and you have to put yourself first. Look at her. She don't care what they think. She like, here's my ass to kiss. And it's not, it doesn't even have to be malicious. It's just, you have to put yourself first. Putting yourself first um, and going after what you love. But this name of water is like a cup of, it's a love offer or communication. It's like coming through with love offer an opportunity with your divine partner because that's what puts putting you first is putting your divine partner first as well because he or she is a part of you because you're one with yourself and you're one with your divine partner and together it's, it takes you back to like that holy trinity or like isis osiris and horus it's like how it should be and in order to get there you have to put yourself first because as long as you're putting yourself last you're also putting your divine partner last don't worry about what other people say think or feel it's not about them. Let them be mad. Look at them. She's happy. But look at them on the side of her looking at her crazy mad. It ain't their life. It's your life to live. It's not their life to live. Put yourself first. And putting yourself first puts you in a position to put your divine partner first. And you can come together as one. Yeah, you can come together as one. And do this work that you were created to do. Again, this is beautiful reading. It is for both the masculine and the feminines, especially in this collective who are one with themselves and don't identify with each energy anymore. It's not for people who's always just worried about their partner, unless you've already mastered both energies and you're ready for that next phase of union. But it's about higher conscious people, higher vibrational people who have been created 
to raise the consciousness and, and to do something in the world that will lift the world up. It's about being a rainbow in someone else's cloud. That's what you were created to be, to be liked. Love yourself. Put yourself first. Come together with your divine partner. If you need to make that offer, make that offer. And yeah, that's this message. You're a light worker. It's time for renewal. It was right under it. Prayer is right under that. All right. Um, feminine, I wish you, or met both <laughs> divine, God, six God. I wish you life, more life, light, and love. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.